How's it going guys? So today we're going to be doing the timing setup on a Honda K20 engine. So this timing isn't super difficult, it's not super easy. You kind of have to know what's going on here so you don't do it wrong. Um, so we have the front timing cover off. You can get this off in the car. You can do this job in the car. It is going to be greatly more difficult. Um, this one's on the engine stand, so it's a little easier for you guys to see on camera. So we have marks on the camshafts and mark on the crankshaft, and then the actual chain is marked. So we'll start off up here on the camshaft. On the exhaust camshaft, this does not have any timing advance on this side. We have a mark, a dot on top, and then we have a dot on the exhaust camshaft which is right here right above the arrow that points up and you can see it right there if it's washed out and uh, here you can see it right there so you're gonna set your chain the chain has two white dots one right there and one right there so you're gonna match the round dots up with the chain this arrow is gonna be facing up and then over here in the middle each gear has a little slot in it you can see a slot there like a little dash those point towards each other and then course the dots go up now moving down to the crankshaft we have a different colored link on the chain there's actually a, a little black link now the crankshaft sprocket you can see there's a little arrow if you can see there or not actually there's a little arrow on the sprocket it's like right there and that arrow needs to go up now there's also a little dash on the sprocket and that needs to go down here to the side and you can see that black link right there that little dash is under that black link and that tells you how to line it up and not all these have paint on the chain for the top marks and these links up here actually are black also you can see the discolored link there or a really dark blue same right there so basically you line all that up and once you do that you put your your timing chain tensioner back on and then you release it and that sets tension on it just to make sure your chain on the right side is tight and isn't really super loose so that's all for the k20 timing and if you look back here back by the starter there's a little plaque and that'll tell you what engine it is and this is a K20 A3, A8, I'm sorry. Oh, it is a three. K20 A3. So that's how you do the timing on this engine. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.